In the last verse of Psalm 4, David writes, I will lie down and sleep in peace for you alone, O Lord, make me dwell in safety. There is such a key word in there. The word alone. You alone, O Lord, make me dwell in safety. You know what that means? That means that as you lie down and try to go to sleep every night, you do not have the ability to give yourself a good night of sleep. Not consistently. And what's the way that we often do that? We think, was it a good day? Is there anything on my mind that's causing me worry? Did I get everything done today? Is there anything that I have to do tomorrow? Did I manage every relationship well? Did I say every right thing? Is there anyone I need to apologize to? Is there anyone I need to follow up with? How many emails are in my inbox? How many text messages have gone unread? What did I forget to do? Oh, I knew there was something. Did I forget to add anything to the shopping list? Is it long enough? You know, all those, all those different things. Maybe you have some days when you do all those things really, really well and well enough that you can say, oh, it's going to be okay. I'm managing my life really, really well. But no, according to the psalm, you don't actually. Um, God is the only one who has the ability to cause you to lie down in safety because he knows us. He says that to us because he knows us. And he wants you to stop putting that unnecessary pressure on yourself. That you have to manage your day and your relationships and your tasks and your everything just so well in order for your life to be okay. It's not true. God alone gives you the ability to sleep well at night. And how does he do that? By overseeing your life with tremendous grace. He knows us. He knows us. He knows our mistakes. He knows our failures. He knows the things that we forgot. He knows the tasks that are undone. He knows the regrets that we have about the ones that were done. He knows the relationships that are, that are hurt or broken or scarred. He knows the truth about how much responsibility we carry for that. And he doesn't take away Jesus. He doesn't take away his grace. And his promise to take all of it and work it in a way that's it's going to be really good. Only God does that. So rest in that day to day. But think about this in one other way. Think about rest in the sense that the Bible talks about it. Like, it often talks about it as resting and sleeping as a metaphor for death. God alone is also the one who prepares us to die well. And God alone does that. Just imagine yourself being in that position where you know you're going to die. And your mind will naturally ask so many different questions. Trying to feel good about what's happening and really about what's coming next. You'll ask, do I have enough faith? Do I believe in Jesus enough? My list of regrets short enough? Did I leave behind a legacy? Will anyone miss me? If you've ever witnessed anyone in that situation and heard them asking themselves those questions, then you know that there is no way that you can answer those questions in a way that's going to settle your heart with perfect peace. You don't have that ability, no matter how hard you try. Which is why God takes the responsibility for giving you peace in that moment entirely on himself. It is God alone who lets us lie down in that sleep in peace. And how? Not by pointing to you at all. But by pointing us again to Jesus. Did he do enough? Did he love you? Did his sacrifice happen? Was it acceptable? Are you forgiven? Is your place in heaven prepared? 
Is God planning to wipe every tear from your eyes? Only God can do that. God alone can do that. God has already done that. A thing that was necessary. So that you, whenever it happens, can close your eyes here for the final time in perfect peace. And for as many days as we get until then, wake up and lie down over and over again and again being able to rest all that you are and all that you've done in God's hands of perfect grace in Jesus rest well tonight my friends